you want to tell, for, frighten an African, just tell, tell them I'll beat you. In normal English, that is metal diet. I will undress myself if they are trying to remove my, 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 my dresses on me. I feel like grabbing that man and destroying him to pieces. Guide me all the great Jehovah. <laughs> <laughs> The NRM delegates really enjoyed their conference in Nambole. <laughs> Honorable Majesty, you have really enjoyed it. I can also see my friend Frank at Mueva say, You should really thank God. <laughs> Beatrice Anwa is enjoying the yellow color happiness. <laughs> yes, Honorable Erike, Honorable Chitutu, and Honorable Mutoji. Show them! <laughs> in Nambole, the teachers in Mitiana are suffering. I have 708 children. I have six teachers. You look at that motivation. There is no motivation at all. How are they motivated to work every day when they don't pay the head teacher's salary? And now you are being summoned to a meeting to explain poor performance in Mitiana. They are being tossed here and there. Here we don't have money to pay, no transport. You call us at night, we come in the morning, we borrow, there's no lunch. Eh? But how can you be called to a meeting and there's no food? You are giving us a bottle of, so, a bottle of water, water. for an answer. Yeah. You see? <laughs> a bottle of water only? No, we are looking at you. If it was a staff. And we, you call us in the meeting, no bottle of soda, no, no lunch. Can you sustain the people from morning up to this time? It is impossible. But the president is more concerned about judges. The judge should be like a, a former president. When he retires, you never, never hear him seven working. You know, the, the other time when we were having our battle here with the exchange and all that, a European came and said, you know, that I should go and be Secretary General of the UN. I said, what? Secretary General of what? UN. President, Secretary General is a Karani. <laughs> you are right. You are right, Papa. You really care about these judges, but they annoyed you when they stopped an investor's project over simple and disagreements. Uh-huh. Mbanchari yao. When I was still there, I heard that a court had stopped the man who had put $630 million on the ground. You are right. You are right, Papa. So the, the Chinese man was almost committing suicide. Ah, it would be bad to have an investor commit suicide here. So what did you do? Then I started ringing, then I started ringing, I, I, I rang Chief Justice, I, I, I rang who, I rang who, I am a lobbyist now. <laughs> My job is a lobbyist, you lobby this one. Why should I lobby for the modernization of Uganda? These people are really stressing you, Mr. President. Too much. I cannot, what is the logic? You could tell me what, what would be the logic. I'm now here, when these foreigners leave, you tell me what is exactly. <laughs> Those judges really serious? You cannot be serious. You cannot be serious. There's no way you can say that you are serious, that you, you are a judge or what. I, I may not be so, so clever, but certainly I can see that you are not serious. What are you looking for? So, I'm sorry if I have interfered with some judges. I, I may be arrested. <laughs> the people who should be arrested are these MPs who fight from parliament. They abuse and punch each other.
<laughs> Mbu MP Odongoto has been going to Honorable Anthony Okolo's constituency the campaigning him. So, Honorable Okolo, what happened when you asked Otto why he goes to your constituency? He went ahead still abusing. He started abusing me instead. And he kicked my knee. I had nothing but I returned a slap as a defense. You mean he was taken to hospital because of just a slap? Honorable Otto, how do you feel now? I'm having slight headache, very slight. Uh, in case we have any scenario, then I'll have to fly out of the country and do a comprehensive brain scan. Eee! Only a slap takes you outside the country for treatment? If you see Honorable call is massive. <laughs> These are the people who live near the park. They eat game meat, elephant meat, <laughs> antelope meat. If I had allowed him to land on my head, I would probably be having a, a concussion. Is it true that you are strong because you eat game meat? I am heavyweight. If I box with Donovan Dongato, I would be down. I didn't box him. When he kicked my knee on the, on the left ear, I had to just defend myself. He picked a chair, he wanted to beat me. Then members came and stopped it. That was it. Not a big deal. With this lesson now, you should stop going to the campaign, Honorable Akol. I went to his area, even over the weekend I'm there, even on Wednesday I'm going back. Then he will punch you again. I, I, I it's earlier said I'm a martial artist. If I re re reciprocated, I would hold his... Shut up! So, what will happen if you hold what I don't want you to mention? And he will start crying like Lukwago. <laughs> Agnes Nandutu, point blank. 